So as you guys know, I'm also getting into the single card gradings as well. So as you guys can see, this is a PSA 10 of the one ring. No, it's not the Postal Malone ring. No, it's not. I mean, we couldn't really afford that card, even if it was existing on the market, which it's not. It would be going for $2 million in excess. Probably like $3 million because Post Malone would probably like to make a lot of money out of it, even though he loves the card pieces. Anyways, this card is the next one down, and it's probably like the second most rarest card in the set, and this is called The One Ring. It looks similar to it, however, it's just missing the encryptions of the Dwarven Elvidge, um forging, so there is no encryption on the ring at all. But it looks like a beautiful card, and as you can see, this is a PSA 10. This goes for $2,000, so this is an extremely expensive card. Obviously, I cannot afford this card. Maybe like when I'm like 100 years old and I'm dying on my deathbed, I could afford this card. But at this moment of time, definitely not. This is extremely expensive, and there's no way I'm going to buy this. However, I did use this card as an example what to look for. So as you can see, the centering from left to right. Look at the black border. You can see it's very even and balanced. That's what you look for when, you're, when you look for a card that's being well centered in the middle. You don't look for a card that's lopsided, back to front, scratched, broken, ripped. That's a card that's not even worth it. So as you can see, the top left and the top right is fairly even. Now, if we look at the card I'm actually kind of interested in, which is this one right here. This is the one that I'm actually talking to the person about buying. I'm very close to getting it. And you can see the top left and the top right is very well balanced as well. Look at the left and the right in the middle at the bottom. Um, where the wording is legendary artifact. You can see that's very well balanced as well. So this could potentially be a PSA 10. I think this is going to be a PSA 10. If not, it's going to be a 9. This is a very good example of what to buy. Now, we haven't seen the back of the card, um, unfortunately. And most people haven't. That's why they haven't bought this card. So it might it actually work in our favor because we're not up against 50 other bidders and going into a bidding war with our battle shields of bids. So it's nice to see this actually, just to be able to see a one fine example at the front and then there's a hit or miss for the back. And we will only know this when we receive the card. Uh, the, the buyer, I'm working out a deal where I can get this for around $70 and that includes the shipping and tax. And that's a damn sight better than $2,000, that's for damn sure. To get this card graded is probably going to cost about 40 bucks. So then we're at 110, and say it does come back with a nine or ten, we're in the card thousand, maybe fifteen hundred bucks. We have all that profit margin uh, to put on our store TCG player and make an absolute fortune off this card. But I would feel bad about selling it because it's hard to find these cards in really decent condition, and they're very rare as it is. There's only a certain amount of these cards made on the market, uh, circulating. So let me know what you guys think about this card in the comment section uh, if you would get it or not. You probably can't because I've already kind of purchased it. I'm already in there. But there are other cards like this that you can look at. Do not just go to TCG Player and just buy whatever's cheapest. It's not the best thing to do, okay? Because you don't know the quality of the cards. Go through the pictures. Analyze it. Zoom in. Take a look. Take a minute. Take minutes. Take as long as you need. Quality over just smashing the button and buying whatever is so important. When it comes to card collecting and investing and getting into this kind of business and this hobby. Like that's something that I've noticed over time. It's taken me a long time to realize this. And I still have so much more to learn as well. Alright people, smash a like as well. And if you're new, subscribe. It's free to do so. It takes you a second. And you can be resonating with another card collector slash hobbyist slash investor. Okay? See you guys in the next one. Peace out people. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye.